Do you want to break eye physics like this? Well, if you do, you've come to the right spot. Hi, my name is Runa and I'm a live 2D animator and artist. I am making this video to teach you all about the best way to make eye physics. So, if you are a VTuber that wants to learn how to make eye physics, I hope this video can help you to learn a thing or two. Before starting off, I'd like to share my deformer and parameter setup. The highlighted deformers and parameters will be used in this eye physics tutorial. I will be putting both of these images for download in the description below. Alright, now let's move on with the tutorial. So for this tutorial, I'll be using my friend Hoishi Aina's model. I'll be putting their links in the description. One thing that you want to do before starting on the eye physics is that you should always clip your highlights layer with the pupil layer. And the pupil layer with the eye whites layer. This makes it easier to just rig the eye in general, not only just physics. So how do you do clipping, you ask? You click on a layer, and then there should be an ID right over here. You copy this, and you go to your highlights, and paste it in the clipping ID section. And then now, your highlights will stay within the pupil. It won't show unless it's in the pupil, you know? <laughs> well, that's that, yeah. All right, so let's move on. So for now, since I've already rigged the eyes and all, I'll just be showcasing how you're supposed to rig for the eye physics. So we got our pupil here. We'll be starting off with the pupil. So your pupil parameter that you made for the physics. And what I like to do with the pupil is to make it go expand and make it smaller. There's a lot of different ways to rig uh, pupils for eye physics. And uh, definitely this is not the only one. And if you are more advanced in rigging and just eye physics or just like eye physics in general, I definitely advise you to like try to explore, go crazy with it and be, cre cre <laughs> be creative. <laughs> okay, so that's the pupil and the highlights. The highlights is also very simple. You had to make two parameters for the highlights. So I highlight physics are X. X is basically going left and right. I highlight physics are Y. Y is up and down. So you click on your deformer and then you make it go left and right. And for the Y, you make it go up and down. When you're done with that, uh, you can click this logo over here to link the parameters together. And then you go to this three hamburger bar thingy wajingy <laughs> and then you click on synthesize corners. What this does is basically the program just rigs the corners for you. So it's very easy. As you can see, easy stuff and the highlights don't go out of the pupil. Next, we have the eyelashes. How do I rig eyelashes, Runa? It's actually very easy. Uh, you don't need like deformers, you don't need like anything in or anything. You just need this very beautiful tool called the deform path. What the deform path does is like you make a line out of something. And then afterwards, you can let's like move it freely using the line. So very easy stuff. Uh, you make the lashes curl. As you can see, it's curling. It's a curling. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, we have the lashes. Yay! Lashes is also very simple. I usually like to put my top lash, side lash, and bottom lash deformers all inside the lashes physics. So that it moves together. But you can also do it separately if you want. It doesn't really matter. It's based on your preferences or, the, or your client's preferences. So go to your lashes and you make it go up. And you make it go down. So yeah. That's it for the rigging. So then we'll move on to the physics. Yay! All right, so now we're at the physics settings. So what you do here is you click on the section over here and there's this button called add. And then it'll ask you to name a group. So since we made four parameters for the pupil, the highlights, the eyelashes, and the lashes, you need to make a group for all of them, each of them basically. So like pupil are, highlights are, eyelashes are, lashes are. And after you've done that, you can go over here. You can select your group from here. Click on pupil first since we're moving on with the pupil. 
and then you go to this input over here. You input it and add IR open. IR open is a parameter for uh, the eye closing and opening. So how does this work, Runa? So this input section is basically like, oh yeah, this physics, the parameter that you want to have physics, like when does it activate? Like how does it move basically? So yeah, so since we're doing eye physics, we want it to move when the eye is blinking. So which is why you have to add the IR open parameter. Over here is the pendulum settings. The pendulums are the ones that makes it makes the physics able to like, you know, <laughs> physics. <laughs> you can adjust the shakiness, the duration, the reaction, basically like how buoyancy, how ba buoyancy, <laughs> how bouncy the entire thing is. And you go to your output settings over here. And then you add the parameter that you named after. So we got the pupil. This is the group for the pupil. So you add the pupil parameter. Make sure it's at 100 effectiveness. So it, it's very effective. <laughs> so now after you've done that, you can see as you open and close your eyes, the pupil jiggles. Ah, oh, very bouncy, very cute. <laughs> and then you basically do this for the other groups. So I will do that now. This, these are all pre-made. Make sure your effectiveness is always at 100. So now after you've done all that, this is how it will look. It's very flowy and has a lot of movement. It's very nice to see. <laughs> it's very pleasing to the eye, get it? <laughs> so yeah, that is it for the physics. So that is all for my tutorial. I hope you learned something new. <laughs> if you want to see more live 2D content, I'm very active on my Twitter. I post small live 2D tips and tricks that can help you rig more efficiently. I'll be posting my links in the description. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye bye! <laughs>